Hey everybody, what's up? I'm here bringing you today your Twin Flame um, energy reading. This is for anybody who feels they are in a Twin Flame journey. Whether uh, they are yet to meet their Twin Flame, you are in separation from your Twin Flame, or you are in union from your Twin Flame. Um, this are, these are just messages that um, I receive that needs to be heard from the collective, or for the collective from the spiritual realm. Um, okay. While pre shuffling, I had a lot of major arcana cards coming out. Um, so big changes. Um, astrologically speaking, we are in a historical uh, monumentative time. You are never going to be able to experience as many planets as we have in their home signs right now. Um, the position of the planets just in our lifetime, we will never see this astro astrological uh, monument of time. So really it's a time of going within. It's a time of um, following your intuition, following your, uh, your inner guide and you know, we're just coming out of uh, this 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 week, especially the truth is going to be shown you to you, uh, even though you already know the truth, um, things are going to be uh, put in your path so you can witness them yourself. They're going to be you're going to be able to be guided into the direction that you're meant to be. We are at a metaphorical fork in the road. If you um, are not feeling like you are all in uh, ride or die for a topic, a situation, a relationship, a job, then you're not in the right uh, path. So uh, you're at a fork in the road either to go after your dreams, to go and create the life that you want right now, um, this week especially, then you need to uh, go within and see what exactly is it that you want to be doing because now is the time to be making changes. Um, you know, it's we're going into a whole new world. We're going into a whole new cycle. And uh, yeah, it's you're not going to be able to take your old shit with you. You can't go into a new world creating a new world with your old shit. So leave your old uh, patterns behind your old thought processes behind your old emotions, your old baggage, leave it at the door and move forward and, um, create the new life that you're wanting to create because this is kind of the do or die time. Uh, what you go into with this new cycle is what is, wow. Did you just see that orb right in front of my face? Um, what you go into is, uh, with this new cycle is, is what you're going to be writing. So uh, pick out a luxury car. Don't be riding that old beat up jalopy down the uh, down the highway. Sorry. Uh, so okay, here we go. Okay, so um, these messages. Uh, or I'm gonna do a uh, a spread for what what the 2019 looks like for you guys. What are your missions? What are your goals? What are um, your paths looking like with your twin flame and your twin flame journey? Um, so we'll see what the cards come out for us. So I'm going to tip you down here. We will see what our angels and spirit guides have for messages for you guys. Spirit and angels, what messages do you have for those in the twin flame journey? What direction do they need to go? What do they need to know? I ask that all messages be brought for the best and greatest good of those who view. Okay. Six of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. King of Swords in reverse. The Death in the reverse. The Six of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, uh, 
the King of Cups, the Emperor in Reverse. And the Eight of Cups in Reverse. Bottom of your deck energy is the Three of Cauldrons. Clarified. <coughs> Excuse me. Clarified by the Seven of Shields. And the Page of Cauldrons in Reverse. Past energy is the Five of Pentacles. With the Seven of Cauldrons in Reverse. And the Four of Swords in Reverse. Your guys' future energy is the equilibrium, which is temperance. The nine of wands and the magician with the droid and the eight of wands. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So I'm going to start with your past energy, um, followed up by your current energy, the outlook, and then I will follow up with your future energy. So uh, your past energy, you're dealing with a twin that um, left you uh, left you out, just didn't include you in their life, didn't include you in their uh, life's choices didn't, you know, introduce you to their family, didn't let you, you were just left out, left out in the cold. This, this felt really cold and harsh to you. For some of you, they just up and left, leaving you feeling completely abandoned, um, leaving you to fend for yourself, to deal with these emotions on your own. Um, some of you could have, uh, experienced financial hardships in this time apart. Some of you, uh, could have left because you uh, feared financial hardships. Um, there's just a feeling of abandonment that has come from the past energy of the two of you. With the seven of cauldron in reverse, there was um, a lot of confusion in the past, a lot of options. Um, I love this card because in the background are these, are these spirits behind the cups. Um, letting you know that there was a lot of confusion here, but the divine was trying to show you which direction to go. Um, the confusion is ended and you do have the opportunity coming up to this present moment to, uh, to choose the cup that has the one flower. Um, all the other ones are options there. They could be very good options. They could be very, um, great relationships. But there's only one that has the rose, and that is the uh, divine relationship. So out of these seven options, out of the, all these options, you have the opportunity to pick the one that is spiritually um, backed up by spirit. The four of swords um, is also in the past energy. So somebody needed to heal. More than likely, both of you need to heal because that is uh, an issue with the twin flame uh, journey is finding um, that healing power to heal yourself, to heal your mind. You see that they have one sword in his straight down into his skull. Um, and then the three swords around them. So the three swords is the heartbreak that you need to heal from. As we know, the three of swords is the heart uh, with pierced by three swords. Those are the three swords of the heartbreak. But most importantly, you need to heal your mind. You need to uh, get out of the thought of being heartbroken. You need to release the thought of how it looks, how it feels, and you just need to heal your thoughts. You need to heal the thought of being abandoned You, because you aren't truly abandoned. Nobody's truly abandoned because everybody has uh, themselves. They have spirit. They have their angels. You are never truly alone, so you're never truly abandoned. It just feels lonely, and it feels shitty. And it feels like this person took off on you, but those are just thoughts. The actual, uh, the actuality of it all was this person left to follow their own journey, to walk their own path, to heal from their own hurts and to, uh, get out of the state of confusion that this spiritual journey often puts you in. When you meet your twin, when your twin leaves, when, if you're the twin that leaves, you're full of confusion. You are the twin journey just 
throws you instantly into utter tailspin of confusion. You don't know what is real. You don't know what to believe. You don't know what to think. A lot of times it's because you've never felt a love like this before. So you're confused. A lot of times it's you have too many people putting their own opinions in. So you're confused. A lot of times you have past hurts um, from emptied cups that you never uh, replenished before you moved forward. There's just a lot of confusion in the twin flame journey. Um, but you need to release the thoughts. You need to uh, raise into a higher vibration of uh, finding self-healing self-assurance, uh, self-esteem, self-respect, and, you know, all the, all the self words, um, it's time to heal from those. Uh, for this group that I'm reading, one of you have, and one of you haven't, uh, began the healing process. So it depends on what side of the coin that you're on, but there is a lot of abandonment issues for the person who hasn't healed. And, uh, more than likely the person that left your twin, you have childhood abandonment issues that need to be addressed. For the twin that did not take off on the other twin, you have abandonment issues caused by this person taking off in the beginning. Um, for some of you, it's been more than once. But it's time to uh, set the confusion aside and know that your true first true step in this journey in coming into union is to heal. Heal from the past hurts. Um, because there's a lot of hurts from the past that have not been healed from yet. And that's standing in your way of reunion. Um, your present energy and the bottom of the deck was the three of cauldrons. Um, so there is going to be enlightenment from the divine. You see the three lights coming down from the heavens, blessing each cup. That's the Trinity, you know, uh, mind, body, spirit, uh, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, so however you uh, view the heavens, it is coming down and it is blessing each and every one of these cups. Um, I don't feel that this is a third party situation. However, I do feel that there are third party situations going on, but the current energy is finding celebration in life. There's more to life than just having a partner. There is more to life than just being in a loving relationship. You have to remember to celebrate and find joy in everyday things, everyday blessings, um, big or small. Be thankful, be grateful from the heavens that they have blessed you with a roof over your head, shoes on your feet, food on your table, friends to laugh with, family to fight with, you know, all the lovely uh, things that come along with life itself. You have many things to be joyful for. You have many things to be thankful for. So um, just because you're not in the relationship that you want to be in right now, remember to be thankful. Remember to be joyful. Remember to thank the universe for the many blessings in your life, um, big or small. And that is when more blessings will come in for you. Um, I do see a lot of you doing this. Also, by the next holiday, which would be Valentine's Day, um, is that three weeks from now? I'm hearing three weeks or the next holiday. Um, there's going to be a big shift in energy when it comes to your twin flame journey. Um, and this is going to be a direct result of your thankfulness, your gratefulness, your um, you know, gratitude list, uh, being thankful, being um, observant to everything in your life that is a blessing right now, including the lessons that you've had to learn. Because even how, no matter how hard they are, they are still a blessing to... Uh, to you because they're making you a better person. It's making you prepare you for a better relationship down the road. So remember to be grateful. Remember to do your gratitude list. Remember to thank the universe for all the blessings and lessons in your life and more will come towards you. But in the twin flame journey, this is a major shift in the eclipse season. So after January 21st, um, there's going to be a major shift in this energy. Prepare for it. Aquarius is going to be huge. I've been saying that for months. The time of Aquarius is going to be big for twin flame uh, relationships. Currently, the person that you are in separation from um, could not be making you a love offer or you could not be making a love offer to somebody else. That's because your cup is drained. You can't offer love that you don't have for yourself. So until you are full of love, until you are full of um, gratefulness, you know, until you replenish 
these cups that have been spilled from the journey itself uh, and from just being emotionally exhausted, then love can't come in or you can't offer love because without that cup full of anything, it's just an empty cup. So concentrate on yourself, invest in yourself, begin to take the time it is needed to, uh, to weed your own garden, to invest within your own mind, body, and soul, to take the time to work on yourself, to plant the seeds of intention so that when you're ready to manifest that your cup will be full. You can't offer this cup of love if you can't, you can't give something away for one that's not there. So you have to find self-love, self-respect. Um, uh, you know, once you find love for self and once you realize you are lovable, you deserve love, then an equal um, amount of love can come back in. It's that balance. It's finding balance in the journey. If you can't offer the love, you can't get the love. And you can't offer the love if you don't have love for yourself. Once you find love for yourself, you'll be able to give love at such a high vibration that it will be returned to you. So you have to work right now to fill that cup. Work on yourself. Allow that cup to be filled again. Um, plant your seeds of intention. Be, prepare for this manifestation period and be grateful for the universe and all the blessings that they have been giving you. And once you realize how blessed you truly are, you'll be able to fill that cup up with the love that you deserve, that you should have for yourself. And you won't be emotionally drained any longer. You will be rejuvenated, replenished because the divine will um, send you that uh, restoration, that that filling of your cup uh, will come from many places, your everyday joys, your everyday enjoyment, your everyday uh, happiness that you can find within your own self and not have to uh, wonder or worry when somebody's going to fill that cup for you. It's time to fill up your own cup and prepare for the major shift in this journey. Um, you need to prepare yourself with this self-love because you guys are going to have major downloads coming in, major information. You're going to have to be prepared and ready for that information to come in because for this group of you, you are the leader. You are the one that is going to um, inform your twin, uh, lead your twin on this journey until they become as aware and self-aware as you are. But right now you're the leader. You are the conduit. You are the channel for spirit to give you the information on where this journey needs to go, where it's supposed to go, uh, what it, you know, what you're supposed to be doing. You are the one that's going to be receiving this information after the 21st of January, when we have that shift in energy, the 21st and 22nd are going to be huge for downloads. Please, please, please make sure your cup is full and rejuvenated. Make sure you have sleep, um, you know, plenty of sleep, plenty of water, um, eating right. And most importantly, meditate, meditate, meditate. Uh, it is so important because you're going to need to prepare yourself to receive this information. And I know that sounds crazy to some, um, but it is for real, super important. So uh, make sure you're taking time out of your day every day to open yourself up to source, to um, release all of the negative energy to uh, allow in information from your guides, from your inner voice, your inner spirit. And um, most importantly, listen to that. Listen to your intuition um, because it's guiding you where you need to go. And if that means leaving behind uh, what isn't making you happy, then leave it behind because this new energy we're shifting into, you have the opportunity and the possibility to live the best life you have ever lived but you need to go into it with a fresh energy, not holding on to anything of the past. Do not hold on to anyone or anything that does not make you happy, does not serve your purpose, because it's not going to continue to serve your purpose, bringing it with you. Let that go. And when the two of you come back together, it'll be new energy, new relationship on a different level with your vibrations at its highest, and it will be happy. So don't bring any negative energy uh, forward from this point. Okay. 
So now we went um, over the energy of the past, your current energy, and here's um, what your cards look like uh, for the next couple weeks up until the 21st. So you have the Six of Cauldrons, the Ace of Shields, and the King of Swords in reverse. Your person has Death in reverse, the Six of Shields, the Queen of Wands. Your outcome is the King of Cups, the Emperor in reverse, and the Eight of Cups in reverse. Um, I am going to pull clarifiers for th this set of cards. Um, just to get some extra um, information. I didn't call for that yet, but the world did come out in the reverse, which means there's something standing in the way of ending a major life cycle. So why is the Six of Cups here for our twins and in their journey? Why is the Six of Cups? Thank you. Okay, so some action needs to be taken. Uh, you know that this is your twin. You know deep in your heart that you guys have been connected um, in this lifetime, many lifetimes before, and you will be connected um, for eternity. But there needs to be taken some action right now. There are six cups and um, all six of them need to be filled. So uh, some action needs to be taken to finish filling the rest of these cups. As you see, only three of them have flowers in them. So um, make sure you are filling all six cups up with love, gratitude, uh, generosity, uh, you know, all those beautiful emotions that is part of the twin flame journey. Your soul's purpose is to provide uh, something to the universe, to the world that will uh, bring joy, happiness, peace, to live in your highest vibration and to show others how to follow the light, how to be the light and how to spread the light. So action is needed to finish filling up those cups with the queen of swords. Um, yeah, the queen of swords, um, has gone through a lot of lessons in life. They have had a, a, a lot of hard lessons, a lot of good lessons, but most importantly, a lot of lessons learned over time. So embody that energy, take, uh, take the queen of swords and move into action, move forward. Don't be afraid. Don't let your thoughts hold you back because somebody is not making a choice. Somebody is not making a decision of, uh, in a relationship and it's holding you back. It's causing you to, um, not move because you know, this is your soulmate and you're worried if you move forward that they won't catch up to you. They won't choose you. They won't find you, but that's not the case at all. It is being called for you to take action with that queen of swords, move away from this energy that you've been stuck in and finish filling up your cups, continue to, uh, heal those emotions, heal those hurts from those lessons in life. Um, because there has been many of them and some of them left scars and some of them left happy memories, but you need to, uh, move forward and continue to, to allow those cups to be filled up by other areas of your life. Your next card out is the Ace of Shields. When you move forward, when you allow yourself to move forward out of that energy of being held to wait or being asked to wait and start filling those cups, the universe is going to give you a brand new opportunity. It's going to bring in abundance. It's going to bring in joy, happiness, love, and it's really going to um, allow you to have a new beginning within your finances, within your happiness, your abundance. Um, and it's going to, where'd the other card go? Oh, and it's going to, uh, ultimately lead you back to your soulmate, to your six of cups. So when you move forward and away from this stagnant energy of waiting that somebody put you in and move forward, the universe will give you your, um, new beginning, your new opportunity and it will be with your six of cups. It's kind of like it's going to be going full circle. So don't be stuck. Don't stay waiting. You're asking yourself, you know, when are my wishes coming true? When is my person going to be here? When are my prayers going to be answered? When, when, when? And um, they're asking you not to focus on the when or what or the why. Your prayers have been heard. Your prayers will be answered. But it's all in divine timing. Um your answers are, or your prayers are always answered. It's just not always the answer that we want or the, or quick enough 
um, for our liking, but the divine works on their own clock and um, we get what we need. We get what we want, get what we deserve when the time is right. And the universe knows just when that is. Uh, your last card was the king of swords in reverse. So you're stuck. You're currently feeling stuck. You're not taking action. You're not moving forward. You know what you need to do. You know what the answer is, but yet you're letting your ego um, get the best of you. And it's causing you to stay still, to stay stagnant. And the universe is going to help you out of this energy. You're going to no longer feel trapped by the situation. You're not going to no longer feel like you can't get out of this feeling of being stuck waiting on this person. And it's going to help you take action. It's going to help you cut away all the energy that is not what needs to be held on to. And it's going to allow you to move out of this thought process of just sitting here waiting, waiting for life to happen. Well, what are we waiting for? Life can't happen if we're sitting there stuck waiting. Life only happens when we go out and live it. We have to keep moving. We have to live our life, whether they're with us or not. And that's what's going to bring them back. Because when you're unhappy and you're stuck and you're waiting for this person to come back, your energy is low because you're not happy. Your vibration is at a lower level because you're, you're making yourself miserable. You're making yourself sad. You're making yourself sit and wait, which is just lowering your vibration. When you're out living your life, having fun, having fun with friends, family, enjoying yourself, giving or making time for yourself, going out and, you know, getting your hair done, getting your nails done, whatever it is, your vibration automatically raises because you're happy. You put off a happy vibe. You put off a happy aura. Your, your vibration just naturally rises when you're out doing things you love, having fun. Um, and so that's why you attract love and your twin back when you go out and live your life. Because once you reach a vibration that is high enough, it will attract your person back to you. So make sure you're not staying home stuck, pining over this person, wondering when they're coming back. No, take action. Realize that you are not stuck by this situation. You are not bound by this situation. You can be happy. Go out and have fun. Go out and spoil yourself. Go out and do whatever it is that puts a smile on your face. And that's when your vibration will naturally raise and in turn, bring your twin back or new love or whatever it is that you um, are meant to have in this journey. Your person has the death in reverse, the six of shields and the queen of wands. So your person is uh, resisting this spiritual rebirth, resisting change resisting giving up what they have to give up in order to receive something better. Our energy can only hold so much space. Our energy can only allow so many things to come towards us. And they're resisting purging and releasing any uh, energy of the past that is no longer for their greatest good. And it's blocking out the twin. So um, this person has to go through this rebirth cycle. We are in a cycle right now of rebirth. And um, they're, they're trying to resist it. Let's see what spirit has to say about why the death card is here for your twin. Why does the twin have death in reverse? Thank you. Yeah, the moon. So they're resisting this uh, rebirth because they're fearful. They're fearful of what the future holds for them because they can't see what's on the other side. They are a very logical person as far as, you know, A plus B equals C. Well, nobody knows what X plus N equals, you know, they don't know the outcome. So they're fearful where they're at right now. They know the outcome. They know where they're going to live. They know where they're going to work. They know that their person, if there is another person is going to put up with whatever they, they have put up with, but with the, uh, death being clarified by the moon, both in reverse, this is fearing moving forward because of the unknown. This is not listening to your inner self. This is not listening to their inner guide. This is fearing the future um, because they don't feel they have control of the outcome. Everybody has control of their outcome. We are a creature of choice and every person has the choice of how to live their life and what the outcome is going to be. And they're not seeing that yet. They're not 
they're not purging and releasing the old energy. So spirit can download the new energy to them so that they can see that their life is in their own hands. Their life is what they make of it. Their life is how they choose to live it. There's nothing to fear. All you have to do is make a choice, make a decision and stand by it and move forward, continue to move forward. And there's nothing to fear about the future at all because we create our own future by what we do today. We are the creators of our own outcome. We are the creators of our own future. We are the creators of tomorrow by what we do today. And what they're doing today is blocking out the spiritual rebirth and not allowing new energy in. And um, some of them are dealing with secrets that are coming out, um, throwing a, uh, a new spin on things in their life because th what they did in the dark is now being um, exposed is now being shown to those people around them that they were trying to hide it from. And they are scared to let go. They're scared um, to move forward. So they're really just blocking out this rebirth, this death process. The universe will um, bring this to them if they don't choose to do it on their own. The, it's kind of like um, being shoved instead of taking their own step. If uh, they don't do it on their own, the tower will come in and the universe will help them go through this rebirth process. Some of you may uh, refer to it as the dark night of the soul. Um, but this is just uh, them holding off on this rebirth process, which is putting a delay in the process of you two moving forward. Um, they're trying to find balance in their life. They feel out of control. They feel uh, like they are being pulled in two different directions. Yeah, and it's being clarified by judgment. So they're trying to find balance in their life. They're being pulled in different directions. Their heart's telling them one thing. Their mind's telling them another. Their friends are telling them another. Their family's telling them yet another. And they're just very confused. But it's judgment day. And they're going to get an aha moment for one. And for two, they're going to have to answer for what they have done in the past. They're going to have to give apologies out to those that they hurt. They're going to have to uh, accept apologies for those who hurt them. But um, this judgment day is going to bring in second chances. They're giving them that second chance to do it, do it on their own, do it on their own free will and, um, and equal out this energy that they have. Uh, this is caused from third parties in the past. Um, whether you were a third party with your twin or, or not, they were um, dividing their energy between two different people at one point in time. This is a second chance uh, to move forward, to move into that twin uh, um, element as well. And with them both in the upright, I do find see them finding balance and I do see them finding you. Um, so continue to work on yourself, continue in that high vibration, get out of that stuck mindset, go out and do fun things, go out and do things for you. And this person is going to find you. The more you look uh, like you're having fun, you're having a good time, this is not phasing you. Your twin's going to be want to be a part of that energy. They're going to see you're out having fun with friends. They're going to see you, you know, pictures on Instagram of you having a great time, you know, things along that line. And they're going to want to be in that energy too, because where they're at right now, they're not happy. They're miserable. They miss you. They don't know what to do. They're confused. They feel this push from the universe to have this rebirth and they're scared. They don't know what it's going to happen. They don't know what it's going to look like. They don't know what it's going to feel like. So the more you look like, the more great you look to, um, like having fun. I mean, don't like just post pictures on Instagram, hoping they'll see them just so they think you're having fun. No, cause the energy, the universe knows the energy and you can't fool the universe. They know whether you're out having a good time or whether you're posting pretend pictures on Facebook. So your twin thinks you're having a great time without them. Truly go out and find things that you enjoy, find a hobby, find a group to join. Whatever it is that brings you joy, go out and do it. And that's going to bring your twin to you all the quicker. But this is a second chance. This is an aha moment from the universe for them. And they are going to get this second opportunity with you, this second chance. Their last card out here is the Queen of Wands. Let's see why the Queen is here for your twin. Okay. The Three of Swords and the Tower. All right. So like I was saying, uh, with the Spiritual Rebirth card, the Tower is coming. If they don't 
make that choice on their own, the universe is going to push them into a tower moment. They feel this tower moment coming because they feel the energy of the rebirth. They're scared. Um, they know it's coming. They don't know when it's coming. Uh, this is also uh, a heartbreak of the past. I do feel that this is your energy as the twin. Um, but this is how they view you. They think you are um, confident, good looking. People want you. People desire you. People flock to you. You're warm. You're kind. You're loving. But yet you got that switch you can flip. If somebody pisses you off, you're first one there to defend them. You're the first one there on their side. You're the first one to go to battle for them. They envy you. They envy your confidence. They envy your um, self-assurance. They envy the fact that you can make choices for yourself and you, you live on passion. And um, they wish they could do that themselves. They wish they could be as confident as you. They wish that they had the courage and the strength and the passion and the know-how to move forward and not look back. So they see you as a sexy, like, goddess. And, um, and they know that they broke your heart. This upheaval in the past, this emotional shakedown that they caused in the past broke your heart. And they're scared that you are not going to want to give them another opportunity, give them a second chance. They think you're good, too good for them. Um, not meaning that like, oh, you think you're too good for me? No, they think I don't deserve them. I don't deserve their love. I don't deserve anything because look what I did to them in the past. I broke their heart. I caused this emotional shakeup. Um, I caused their whole world to come crashing down because they know what they did the first time they ghosted you, the first time they took off from you, the first time they left you. They know it broke you down to nothing and they feel guilty about it. They feel sad about it. They know what it did to you because as their twin, they felt it. They felt your sadness. They felt your heartbreak. So now that you're looking great and fabulous and you're out there again and you're looking, sounding, feeling wonderful, they're worried that what they did to you in the past is going to come back to bite them and, and you're going to not want to give this a second opportunity. You're not going to want to give it a second chance. It also broke their heart undeniably doing that to you. They thought about you. They think about you every single day. There isn't a day go that goes by that they don't rem that they don't think about how wonderful you are, how amazing you are. But they also don't go a day without realizing the amount of heartbreak they caused you, the amount of emotional chaos that they brought to your life. Um, but what they don't realize is all that this did right here, this energy, all that it did was give you the the strength, the um, the situation. All of that that happened with this, it gave you the opportunity to build yourself into this person. It gave you the opportunity to put your life back together just how it was meant to be. And look at how amazing you look now. You were not this person when the two of you got together. You were not this person when they took off. You became this person because of the things you went through because of this twin and the separation, the healing you had to do, the building yourself back up, putting yourself back together. This is what the pro what this is what the outcome is of this situation. So really what they did was in a way a favor to you. You should be thanking them because your bullshit caused me to have to put my life back together and look at what a good job I did. I nailed it. I look amazing. I feel amazing. I am attracting multiple people to my life, not necessarily love partners, but just opportunities, doors of opportunities opening, whether it be in career, family, friends, um, could be love, uh, because that's part of some people's journey, but no matter what you have had doors open because you look, you are doing amazing. You're healed. You're happy. You're healthy. And you are looking as you see, she's looking off. That's looking into the future. You're not looking behind you. You are looking straight ahead. You have your eye on your on the prize and you know your future is going to be great. So what they did to you brought you to this, but they're scared that what they did to you, you cannot forgive them for, 
They're scared that what they did to you, you will not want to give them an opportunity again out of fear that they'll do it again. So they're just really conflicted right now. Um, they're also heartbroken because they can't be with you. They want nothing more than to choose you. They want nothing more than to come towards you, but there's still something they have to do. There's still something they have to take care of in order to move towards you. They also don't want to break anybody else's heart. They could be in a third party situation. Um, for some of them, they are, and they fear breaking the heart of other people. They don't want to hurt anybody. They don't want to make anybody sad. They don't want to make any hearts break. So what they do is they do what everybody else um, wants them to do. And in turn, it breaks their own heart. But this will change. This energy will change. So keep being this amazing high vibration person that knows your worth, knows your value, and does not settle for any treatment, any relationship, any contact that is any less than high vibration because you don't want their low vibration to bring you down. You don't want their low vibration to cause more heartbreak, to cause more sadness. Keep, keep at this level that you guys are currently at and it's going to heal um, both of you and they are going to be able to come back to you um, in a position to offer you the real deal, to sit on the throne right next to you and vibrate at the highest level the two of you um, can do together. So keep being amazing. You're doing a great job. Your guys' outcome from now until the 21st, 22nd, 23rd, around there, uh, the new, the full moon and the, uh, equal, the uh, eclipse. All right. So your guys' outcome is the king of cauldrons, unconditional love. This person has unconditional love for you. Don't ever doubt it. Um, no matter their actions, because their actions are earthly, their emotions are heavenly. There is no question that this person loves you unconditionally, even when their actions don't show it because their ego and, uh, you know, their thoughts get in the way sometimes of the way they treat you, the way they act, the way they voice their, uh, feelings for you. So they know that this connection is from the heavens. They have awakened to what a twin flame is. They know about a twin flame. Um, they may not have the words twin flame, but they know. They know that this connection is out of this world. They know that there's something different and passionate about this relationship that they can't put words to. Sometimes things from source, sometimes things, sometimes things that are heavenly, you know, are not they're so amazing that there is not a human word for the connection. There's just not, there's no word in the language of humans that we speak that can possibly explain the connection, the amazingness of it, the awesomeness of it, the pure bliss, joy, love, happiness. There is no word that, that they can uh, put on this relationship that explains their feelings for you. A lot of times, um, the other twin, they know how much they love you. They know how amazing this connection is, but they have a hard time speaking it. The person that you are connected to is very much in love with you, very much adores you, but they have a hard time speaking, speaking it out loud, telling you about it. So a lot of times they keep it secret. They keep it to themselves. They don't share it. Because out of fear of sounding funny, sounding stupid, sounding, you know, girly or whatever, too emotional, sound, you know, whatever it is that is causing them to hold these emotions within, know that this, this person absolutely loves and adores you. For some of you, this person is keeping their feelings for you secret because they are in another love relationship um, and they can't speak about their feelings for you just yet. But know that source, the universe, your angels, they are all at work to move them into a place where they can open up, where they are not so um, held back on what they feel for you because they feel an unsurmountable amount of passion for you, love for you, unconditional love. The unconditional love of your twin is unmeasurable because it's more than what we can possibly imagine. Even if sometimes their ego 
Sometimes their actions do not reflect that. They also know that you are very connected to spirit, very connected to the universe. You are awakened. You are very connected to your angels, whether you realize it yet or not, you will very soon. Um, especially in the time of Pisces, when the moon is in Pisces, when the sun is in Pisces, it's going to, you're going to be awakened to a lot of psychic abilities to contact your own angels, to connect to source, to allow downloads to come in, to not only allow the downloads to come in, but process them and put them to work in your life. Um, this, this person that you are, um, are connected to your twin, uh, they are going to be looking towards you for spiritual um, inspiration, for spiritual growth, for spiritual that you are their spiritual leader because you by far are connected to source a lot more at this moment um, than they are. This is also somebody that practices. One of you practice like moon magic, like manifestation with the moon. You release during the moon cycles. You uh, manifest during the moon cycles. Um, and this is going to manifest this love back into your life. Um, if you work with the moon, the next card out is the father in reverse, which is the emperor in a lot of decks with this being in reverse, they are not confident enough to come forward. They are not confident enough to leave their current situation to follow their heart. Yeah. They're not confident enough in to leave their current situation or to move forward because they are financially unstable. They um, worry about finances. Their, their focus is on money. They, they worry about um, how they're going to pay for things, how they're, you know, what they're going to have to give up. If they have to divorce somebody, they're going to have to give up half their money, half their house, half their possessions. And they're very concentrated on that, which is not of the vibration of the emperor. The vibration of the emperor knows that they can make anything happen. Put a challenge in front of me and I will conquer that challenge. I will make that challenge my own and I will rise above that challenge. That's the vibration of the emperor. Right now they're feeling, I can't do that. How am I going to pay for it? I can't do this. What am I going to lose? I can't do that because I don't want to give up anything. Well, they have to give up something in order to get something better. So they're not embodying the emperor energy right now. They're very uh, fearful and almost um, cowering to the thought of having to rebuild their life financially, having to uh, step up to the plate and uh, figure it out, trying to uh, trying to find their own stability again right now is their biggest challenge um, because they're needing to end a cycle. They need to put this uh, relationship that's emotionally draining and not fulfilling them anymore um, down. They have to walk away from it. They have to heal from it. They have to purge it from their life with that death card. And this is what they're refusing with that death card in reverse. This is the cycle that needs to end. This is the purging that needs to happen. And it's not happening yet because they're fearful of how they're going to make it. So they're being faced with this challenge, this, this uh, decision, this question of where do I go from here? How do I do this? What do I do? I don't know any of the answers. So instead of making that challenge my bitch and uh, conquering it with the emperor energy, instead, they're just putting a blindfold on and pretending like the choice isn't there. The option isn't there. Um, they're putting a blindfold on to the truth that is right in front of them. And that's why, you know, that's not like the emperor. That's why the emperor is in reverse here. They need to stand their ground, know what they want know that they can get it no matter what. Cause like I said, above uh, this and their energy, they need to know that they make their own reality. They create their own future and the own outcome. Um, so they're just choosing to uh, let the situation control them instead of taking control and in matters into their own hand. Um, they are going to reach out communication. Uh, this is uh, for me, Cupid's arrow as well as, or not in this deck. I'm sorry. Uh, this is, making fast communication at the last minute. They're going to choose to reach out to you. They're going to rush in with a message. They're going to rush right back out more than likely. Uh, cause the eight of cauldrons is here in reverse. So they're, they're refusing to move forward on their spiritual path, spiritual journey. Um, now remember these, uh, energies are 
fluid, they are also um, vice versa if they are. Whatever side of this journey you're relating with, obviously your partner is the other side. So if this is you I'm talking to um, with this energy, then that's fine. Just remember to apply it in your life the way it ha the way that it fits because this is uh, one group of twins cycle, a large group of twins. This is what the situation is. So just put it in whatever whatever side you identify with. The other side is what your partner is going through, thinking, doing, what have you. I I'm I say that all the time, but you'd be amazed at how many times I get messages about how this doesn't fit. How come this? How come that? Only take it if it fits. Um, if you're watching this video, obviously there is at least one message in here for you. Spirit would not lead you to a video where the whole thing, there's no message that pertains to you. So I do encourage you to watch it, but put it where it fits, okay? All right. So with the eight of cauldrons in reverse, you're emotionally drained. There's a situation that you're spent. You um, put a lot of heart and soul into this situation. And so you're having a hard time leaving it behind. Um, each one of these cups holds an experience, a person, a relationship, however, that made you happy at one point in time. But you know, even with all these things, all these experiences, all this love that you've experienced, shared over the years, you know something's missing. There's two cups that you have not experienced yet. There's two cups that you haven't um, had the opportunity, the joy to experience how good they taste, how full they are, how happy they are. All you have here is eight cups that at one point in time were full, but they've been spent. They've been exhausted. They're now empty. The situation, the experience, they've been used up. There's nothing left in them. So now you need to be in search of those other two cups. Go out and get it. Go out and find it. It is in reverse. So you, even though you know that the cups are empty, you know that there's nothing left here. You're still standing there looking at these empty cups. There's nothing left here for you. There's nothing left in this situation, um, whatever it is, that is going to provide you emotional fulfillment because the cups are empty. In order to get your cup full again, you have to go find those other two cups that are not in this card. When you leave the eight of cups behind, like I said, you have to leave something in order to get something better. When you leave the eight of cups behind, you go out and in search of the two of cups that are missing, that equals the 10 of cups, love, the 10 of cups, life, emotional abundance and joy and happiness and everlasting unconditional love. So why are one of you sitting here still? It's time to set out on that journey. You may not know where it goes. You may not know where it leads, but it's better than where you're standing because where you're standing, there's nothing and nothing's going to come into it. You have to have the courage, the faith, to set out on that spiritual journey, to follow the light of the moon and know that that is a divine light that will lead you to something better. And it's, I mean, what, what do you have to lose where you're standing? Nothing new is coming in. Nothing uh, is going to replenish those cups. So what do you have to lose if you go out searching? Nothing, but you have everything to gain. If you find that soulmate, those two cups, the card that is clarifying that is the unknown card. So will they set out on this journey? In the next two weeks till the 21st, nobody knows. Spirit's not sharing that with us. Um, but the main thing is, is you don't know what's out there for you. You don't know unless you go looking. So don't stay stuck. Don't stay stagnant. Looking at these empty cups, wondering when they're going to fill back up again, because they're not going to. It's time to go out in the unknown. It's time to set out on your, uh, on your journey. Journey out into the unknown. See what finds you because whatever finds you, it's what's meant to find you because that was sent to you from the divine. It's all part of the path, all part of the journey and the excitement of living life itself. Let's see if we can get what the unknown card is about. The two of pentacles. Yeah. So uh, the unknown is, are you going to find balance? Are you going to find uh, the joy in this change? The two of pentacles often is about um, the change in our life that we cannot help the change that comes to us um that how we roll with the punches the ebbs and flow of life the ups and downs the ins the outs 
how you deal with life changing itself. So are you going to find balance? Are you going to invest in yourself? Are you going to find self-love so you can equally give love? Because that's what this is about, emotions. Getting your emotions in check, finding balance, finding love for yourself so you can equally give that love back out. Like I was saying up in that first row about uh, the the uh, cups being replenished. Or no, it was in the three of cups. You have to be filled with love before you can give love. So leave this emotional draining situation, something that you put a lot of heart and soul into, but it's not there anymore. Once you leave that, you find balance, you find love so you can get, or you find self-love so you can give love. And that's when you'll find your two of cups. So very beautiful energy right there. So the, will they, um, will they go out on the eight of cups? Um, we just had the seven of, or the seven of cups and the chariot flip. Yes, I do feel they will. Um, with the chariot, they're going to leave behind that situation that they are leaving. The chariot always leaves the tower in search of the star. So they always leave an emotionally upheaval situation. They ride the chariot on out of there and search for the star so they can heal. So yes, I do feel that your person, if you are the more awakened one, your person is going to set out in search of this love, this two of cups. Um, they are going to ride the chariot out of the tower since they had the tower in their sector I or their section. I do believe that this is your partner that is riding the chariot in search of their soulmate. They know that you are their soulmate. They know that you hold the rainbow. Your The rainbow comes out of your cup. So they're heading out looking for that rainbow. This is no longer being confused upon what cup they want in their life. This is being awakened by spirit, by source, by the divine, that you hold the key to their 10 of cups. You hold the key to their two of cups, and they are going to set out in search of that. Let me clear these cards out of the way and get your future um, outcome, your predictions for the next uh, moon phase. Okay, so, and I just love this because the Seven of Cups, look at that, the rainbow, and then in a completely different deck, Temperance holds the rainbow. They know the Twin Flame connection now. Like I said, they may not call it a Twin Flame. They may not know that term, but they know that the Divine has given you to them, and now they're in search of that rainbow cup. So in your predictions, you have equilibrium, finding balance, self-healing, self, uh, or I mean the balance in your emotions, you're finding, uh, you're finding that the more you balance out your life, the more you balance out your emotions, the better your life is becoming. This is also my twin flame card. So the balancing of your souls, the healing of your soul, self-healing. And when the two of you come together, your two souls merge into one um, and become that one soul, one purpose um, energy. So this is the equal give and take of emotions, the effortless back and forth between both cups and the happiness that it brings. This is two solid people on solid ground connected by a divinely uh, connection, one that is just beautiful and whatever way the light shines on it, it shines happiness. And this is because the two of you have worked so hard to become your own people again, to become your own selves, to not uh, depend on other people to bring you happiness. This is finally finding balance in your life, healing in your life, and um, being rewarded for all the hard work that you have done. The nine of wands. You are continuously continuing to fight for this relationship. Whether you realize it or not, the harder you work on yourself, the harder you work to heal, that is fighting for this relationship. You're fighting for this relationship by fighting for yourself to heal, to 
uh, find happiness. And you're going to realize that this person is battling for this relationship as well, whether it's verbally said or not. The two of you working on yourselves is fighting for this connection. You guys are able to manifest this into your life. Be confident of it. Be assured that the more you believe it, the quicker it will come. You have the tools. You have what it takes to bring this relationship into fruition and um, and it be successful. Uh, I'm looking for a card here quick. Let's see. I know it's in here somewhere. I apologize. Um, well, anyways, um, this has the same three uh, beams of light down from heaven as the, um, the three of cups did. The gratefulness, the uh, being awakened by the by source, by the heavens, the trinity, the mind, body, and soul. So once your mind, body, and soul is healed by the heavens, it will shine down on you as you're manifesting this relationship and it will bring it into fruition. Um, use the tools you have learned, the lessons along the way that you have gathered up to this point and manifest this relationship. Believe that you can create the life you want. We are the creators of our own reality. We are the creators, creators of our own outcome. So manifest this relationship into reality. Release the fear, embrace trust and balance between the spiritual and material realms. And you will find manifestation to be very uh, productive as it will bring this relationship into uh, fruition. This is the Hierophant in uh, traditional decks. Once again, the Trinity shining down on you. This is a non-traditional relationship. This is, um, this is, uh, oh, what am I looking for? This is finding a commitment, finding a relationship, but it's going to be a relationship unlike any other you've had. Um, this isn't your traditional relationship. You guys have gone through the hardest trials and tribulations of any relationship you could think of, but it's being, bleh, being blessed by the divine and your lessons, your, your hard work that you've done up to this point will bring the two of you into a commitment. Um, if you have uh, not been speaking to this person, if you've been blocked or just lost contact, whatever the situation may be, communication is opening up. It's going to be very fast. They're going to come in very quickly and, um, and have the, uh, have the courage to speak the truth. They're being hit by Cupid zero here. This is my, uh, fast communication. Wow. King of cups once again with equilibrium. So, uh, finding balance within your emotions, they are going to come forward and speak how they feel. <clears throat> Finally, there's a nine of wands here. They are going to tell you that they may not have been fair to you in the past, that they know they did things that were out of balance that caused the karmic scales to sway one way or another, but know that they are doing what they have to do to bring balance to this relationship. They are fighting now for a future with you and um, <clears throat> to not give up. With the magician, you have the Knight of Cups. So you are going to manifest this love offer into the reality. Have faith, have confidence, know and believe and visualize that this person is coming in to offer you their cup. Because like I said, with this new energy, um, <clears throat> they are there are major shifts coming into, uh, into our reality as we know it. The twin flame journey is, um, for this group of you in this stage of the process, it is taking a huge turn for the better and things are going to be changing. Might switch right here. All right. So with, um, the Hierophant, you have the sun. They are being awakened. The universe is showing them what they need to do to come into a relationship with you, to do what they have to do, no matter if it's traditional or not. This is being, the path is being enlightened, enlightened for the two of you, shining bright on it. So you both know your way to each other, to this divine connection. The sun is full of happiness, love, new beginnings, fresh starts, and just warmth. 
the warm of the sun on your back and the wind at your face, you guys are, um, or your person is being in, awakened and the path is being shown for them on where to go, how to bring this back into a relationship in the material realm. Why is the eight of wands here? They're excited to tell you this. They're excited of what they found out. They're excited to come forward and um, let you know the what they have learned in this time apart. Yeah, so they are going to come forward making you this offer. Making you, uh, the, it may not be much, but it's what they have to give right now. Um, it is true love. It is a true love offer. They mean it. Um, and they're letting you know that they are getting out of a toxic relationship. They are no longer going to be tied and bound by somebody that they could have been tied to in the past. Um, but they are escaping this energy of the, um, the toxicity in their life. They're purging now. They're going to allow that death process. They're going to reach out and let you know that they apologize for the toxic energy that they brought to your life before. They're going to apologize for the negative thoughts and negative actions um, and bringing you into a situation where they were already um, bound to somebody. But they're going to tell you that they truly love you with all their heart. And it may not be much, but it's all they have to give at the moment. And it's true. It's, it's pure love at its finest. And they have the King of Cups here. So they have all the love in the world for you. Just as they are healing, as they are coming forward, that they are giving you what they can. And it will be amazing. It will ascend to this King of Cups love very quickly. So the most important thing is to have faith. Believe in the world. Believe in the universe. Believe in your angels. That they know what you're they're doing. Because divine timing is at work here. And your divine timing is coming in very quickly. Um, and the journey is about to, uh, to come into a union. Remember, you deserve love. That was the very first message I said. You have to fill your own cup before you can give love to somebody else. So in this time of separation, make sure you're focusing on yourself. Aim that arrow and follow it. Fill yourself with love. Do things that make you happy. And, um, and your vibration is going to naturally raise and attract this twin in. Now that you are in this time of retreat, use this time to focus on yourself, to cut away from the world and to fill your cup back up. That is so important before they can come forward to you. You have to be able to, uh, return the love back and you can't do that if you are energetically depleted. So focus on yourself and raise that vibration and they are going to come in in no time because right now you are in separation from this person and in order to end that separation, you have to um, forgive and learn from the past and just to um, uh, make sure you are making yourself happy. Focus on yourself uh, and that's, that's the most you can do right now. Uh, And your last card out is reconciliation. Somebody from your past is returning to your life. Your bottom of the deck is to free yourself. Free yourself from the outcome of this situation. Free yourself, um, the thought of them returning, when they're returning, why they haven't returned yet, and just focus on yourself. And that is when this person is going to return to your life and offer you this um, out of this world love. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I know it went super long, but spirit had a lot of messages for you guys. Um, so I hope that I kept your attention through the whole thing and you did watch it to the end because, um, all these messages are so important that spirit wants you guys to know, um, keep the faith, believe in yourself, fill yourself back up with that love and, um, let go of the outcome of this relationship. Uh, and it will come to you when divine timing is right. So, all right, guys, have a beautiful, beautiful day. Enjoy uh, this filling your cup back up with love. Um, it's about time to celebrate within the next three weeks. I see the shift happening. Um, so make sure you are prepared for it.
uh, by focusing on yourself, focusing on the love you have for yourself and allow this love to come in for you. All right, guys, have a beautiful day. God bless.